Hi everyone, I'm Shilendra and you are watching me on my channel focused on data science and analytics. One question that I'm asked time and again is by the individuals who want to become data scientists and do not know where to start. So I thought it may be a good idea to share my thoughts with you on what to do to become a good data scientist. This video is for beginners and newbies who have just started in the data science field. Please connect with me on any or all of the channels mentioned here and speak to me directly if you want. Let's start. First thing first, the most important aspect of data science is statistics. One needs to have a strong understanding of statistics. So if you, for some reason, drop the subject in your school or college time, then you will have to pick statistics up once again. Pick up those books uh, from the school and start learning and understanding the fundamental concepts of statistics. I, I will mention a few resources in the description. You can pick some books from there as well. If you already know statistics, then it is easy and you should move on to the next step. Now you have to pick some statistical modeling software like SAS, Python, R, etc. and learn how to code in any one of these softwares. I suggest you pick up Python. It is absolutely free and can be easily downloadable. Just Google Python software and you can download it. You will find many softwares on YouTube to learn Python and there are many books that explain a step-by-step -step guide to learn coding in Python. It is a 4GL language and it is easy to code. I personally feel that the fields like data science requires a lot of practice. As they say, practice makes person perfect. In today's world, data science software and hardware are so freely available that you can start practicing now. In our times, when we started learning, it was so hard to find a software. Think about this. A license of SAS was in thousands of dollars, but today Python is free. Does that make sense? If it does, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get alerted when I publish a new video. So the next thing you do is to find out a problem. A very good idea is to look for social problems that you have faced recently and strategize what data would be required. How will it help solving the problem and where to find that data set? Most of the data for social problems is available on the internet. So you can start from there and then start extracting the data. They say once you start, you will have solved half the problem. And along with that, you will start learning and polishing your data science skills. If you do that, it may be possible that you don't need anyone to hire you. And instead, you may be hiring people soon. Think about that. I will create another video to explain the end-to-end -end data science process which I have used to create more than $1 billion in incremental revenue. So watch out for that video. If you like this video and want more videos like this, then please like and share this video. Also, please let me know in the comment section on what else do you want to know in the data science and analytics space. I will be more than happy to help. Thank you and bye now. See you soon.